Minecraft. Bring it on! That's what I normally say to challenges in Minecraft. 1.5, the mobs are supposed to get harder, right? Oh yeah, are we right. We are going to fight some bad guys today, and they have a bunch of new tricks up their sleeves. It's not going to be easy. Let's get started. Hello, and welcome back to Exploration and Tactics with Brian. I am near the mushroom biome, but if I press F3, you can see that I'm actually in an ocean. I hear that now in 1.5, some of the mobs have become more difficult. And so I wanted to do some caving, but since I was over here in the mushroom biome, I decided I would come over to a segment of ocean. I already put a little ladder as kind of a breathing position down here, and then I was just trying to look underground. I don't immediately see... I hear a bat. Uh, I don't immediately see anywhere obvious where I can just get into a cave, and so I think I'm just going to do some digging until I find a cave. As I'm digging to find a cave, I'm getting some weird graphical artifacts. I'm not sure if they're going to show up on the video, but for example, around this torch, there's like an orange line that's kind of going along the angle of the torch, and then I see like little blue dashed lines and orange dashed lines kind of right on the edge of the block boundaries. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the video. I'm not sure if there's some new video setting that something, something. If I go back to the old smooth lighting, I believe minimum is equivalent to the old smooth lighting features. No, I'm still getting those crazy lines. Yeah, it's really weird. I can see blue all around here. That wasn't happening before, I don't think. I guess I don't know that in 1.5 I've been in any tight spaces up until now. But yeah, apologies if that is a distraction. It actually is distracting me. Let me let me fool around with my video settings and see if I can figure out a way to make that go away. Alright, I tried advanced OpenGL, I tried different smooth lighting settings, I tried exiting Minecraft and restarting Minecraft, and none of those things are making these little lines go away. I'm not sure how well they're going to show up on the video. Um, but that will unfortunately be annoying. Hello, Gold. I am happy to see you. You are not my primary mission. Instead, it's these spiders that I hear and a skeleton that I hear are the main reasons I am out here. I think it actually got quieter, so I just went down. So maybe I actually need to go up in order to find these spiders. They sound like they're over here somewhere. And the skeleton sounded like he's to my left. But yeah, basically, I think in 1.5... Well, I think a number of things. One is... Alright, are they below me somewhere? No. Uh, one is that skeletons will shoot at you from further away. And they'll also, as you get closer to them, shoot more quickly. And so I think that's going to be a challenge. I also just recently read today that um, zombies do more damage, the more damage that they've already taken. And so I'll be curious to try to experiment with that as well. Oops, all right, well, is that the ocean up here, or is that... No, I think it's like a cave or something. Oh, I think I see somebody. Hello. All right, we found ourselves a cave. And there's some water flowing in, presumably from the ocean, because I'm just a little bit below the ocean over here. Let's try to light this up. But I expect I'll have to be a little bit cautious right at the beginning, so I try to get a feel for just how bad or not the mobs are going to be here in 1.5. But... Overall, I'm pretty sure that if things get more difficult, that will make me happy. Um, because, in general, I feel like the game is a little bit too easy, and so if things have gotten more difficult in terms of the mobs, that'll be a good thing. Alright. There's an Enderman. I don't think there's any changes with you, so I'm not going to fool around with you too much. Alright, here's a skeleton. Oh yeah, he's shooting pretty fast as I'm right up next to him. And if I hit him repeatedly... Oh wow, it's hard to hit him repeatedly. Oh my gosh, wow! It's hard to even, like, run up and... Because he's shooting arrows at you so quickly to get him. And so you might have to use your own bow and arrow to defend against the skeletons. People had been telling me that the skeletons had gotten much more difficult. Do I need coal? I don't really need it all that badly right now. Look at all the arrows he got in me already. Wow. Um, yeah, for ultra hardcore especially, it seems like skeletons are going to become... Somewhere between merely formidable and OP. Uh, but we will see with time. And sadly, does this cave not go anywhere else? Oh no, there's more cave over here. Let's check it out. Hello, bat. Is that going to wash away my torches? No, perfect. All right. Um, 
Yeah, but those skeletons, I mean, it's like hard to even like run up and try to melee him. He was shooting the arrows at me so much, and the arrows keep knocking you back and knocking you back. Um, I think I heard Vex even say that he think the skeletons might have gotten too difficult. And if Vex says that, then you know. <laughs> Obviously, they're much more difficult. All right, it doesn't seem like this cave goes anywhere either, and so I will look for another cave and see you guys again in a moment. All right, I have found another cave. It sounds like it has skeleton and enderman, and I see light. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, we're down at the lava layer already? Wow, I did not realize I had gotten that deep. Oh, and apparently this is somewhere that I've lit up. And yeah, even down there, I'm getting all these weird graphical... Like, I see all kinds of little red lights on the obsidian. Like, just on the borders of each block. It looks really weird. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up in the video. Um, well, actually, if it's 720p and I'm playing in 720p, it probably looks exactly the same to you as it does to me. If you're watching at full resolution, I have no idea. Who knows? Crazy Minecraft. Fix your game, Jeb. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw a zombie down here. And I'm guessing... Oh, there's... Okay. My new nemesis. All right, so interestingly, he doesn't seem to be able to hit me from here. I presume he's just aiming into the block below me, and so there's a whole bunch of arrows going into the block below me. And so I think that might be different. I don't know if their aim has changed. If I knock you back, will you be able to hit me? Yes, you will. Okay. All right. And I'm a little worried about... All right, zombie's going to pathfind over to me pretty well. All right, I'm just going to knock you in the lava for the moment. Uh, because I would like to get myself a little safer, lava-wise. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get the potion of fire resistance on the bar. Let's go ahead and eat some food as well. Alright, but I definitely hear more bad guys. And it looks like, perhaps, there's some nice hallways over here where we might run into some bad guys. I hear a spider chasing me. Hello, spider. Oh, found a diamond, too. Was oh, this the bottom of a ravine? Oh, this could be really dangerous. Um... All right, all kinds of stuff going on. The diamond is good. But I would really like to find, like, a skeleton at a distance and see how far away he shoots at me from. Yeah, I'm not too worried about gathering resources right now. I could definitely use them after all of the crafting I did right at the beginning of 1.5 here, but at the same time, I would like to get safer. Um, all right, there's a creeper. Hello, creeper. I see you sneaking up. Don't know that anything has really changed with you. All right. And I hear a spider. There's the spider. Hello, spider sneaking up through a waterfall. I think you guys are relatively the same as well. Let's see. Where are all the rest of my friends? Maybe I should go up into... Okay, here's a zombie who's carrying an arrow and wearing some gold armor. And so unfortunately, let's go ahead and get, to get one more arrow in him. Is he wearing thorns? I just took damage. I think you might be wearing thorns. You don't seem to be enchanted, though. Maybe I took damage from somewhere else? I don't know. In any case, I'm curious to see how much damage he does to me now that I've weakened him. And so... One and a half hearts. Okay. All right, there's a creeper here. This will get ugly in a moment. Oh, dear. Hello, hello, hello. Let's go ahead and try to take out the creeper. <laughs> he just picked up... Wow, did, did that mean the zombie dropped all that armor? He dropped all that gold armor? That's really crazy. I don't think I've ever seen so much armor drop. All right, I got the creeper. That was my goal. All right, that zombie is very weakened. I would like to see if I can... Oops. All right, there is a skeleton shooting at me from somewhere, and I don't know where. <laughs> it's hard to experiment at the bottom of a ravine when there's all kinds of mobs attacking you from I don't even know where. Um, all right. First off, I want to see what happens when this zombie... He's very weak. All right, he hit me for one and a half. All right, and now he's dead. You, I don't know how many hits. You also seem to have hit me for one and a half, or possibly two. And did I pick up all that gold armor? Oh, it does have thorns. Fire protection and thorns. Wow! That was like a super armored zombie. I wasn't making up the thorns then. I guess I, there isn't a skeleton shooting at me. I was just taking thorns damage. Oh my gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, right! The zombies... 
there's some new zombie AI that I forgot all about that, like, if one zombie sees you, then all the zombies in the area come after you, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. That is fearsome. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um, wow. That was actually really exciting. I got a potato. Um, oh my gosh. This is going to be, hello creeper, much, much harder, I think. I did really, I really did not anticipate the game getting this much harder, but my first little taste here, um, I'm going to enjoy this actually, but it's, there's a fair chance I'm going to die with all my stuff down here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find my way back. Um, let's see, my armor is still holding up. Fire protection and thorns, yeah, I'm just going to hold on to that. I might item repair it or do something with it later. Repair it with the anvil. Um, let's see if I can find a cave system up somewhere. So yeah, I believe now basically once one zombie senses you, any other zombies in like a certain nearby region, I don't know how big the regions are, will then kind of like be called and come after you even if they can't see you. All right, that's just a kind of waterfall up here. I don't see, is there a cave? Is that a cave right over there? Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like there's a cave over here as well. I just want to find kind of a higher level cave that I can go walk in, maybe. And be less around lava and dying, and yeah, I'm still trying to hopefully... Hey, zombie. All right, if there's any other zombies, presumably they're going to come find me. Yeah, this is a good area right over here, though. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's very big and open. And so maybe we'll find a skeleton. Okay, great. Can you see me from here? Yes! I'm pretty far away, but that skeleton's still shooting at me. Fortunately, a spider just took an arrow for me, and so the spider's going to go attack the skeleton. And I'm curious to see if the skeleton... Alright, I guess these spiders might have taken a bunch of damage already. I'm curious to see if this... Yes, the skeleton is rapid-firing at the spider as well. And so it occurs even for monster infighting. If the skeleton's current target is very near the skeleton, apparently it begins kind of like firing in rapid succession. And so that could be, hmm, useful somehow. I don't know. There's a creeper down here. Let's go ahead and take him out. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of arrows. Yeah, plenty of arrows. Oops, got a phone call that I need to take. I'll be right back. All right, I am back from my phone call. I think there's a zombie around and I'm worried that my sword is getting worn down and so let's be careful. Hmm. All right, there is a zombie who sounds pretty nearby and there were a bunch of spiders who had just fallen from up here, I think. That's right, there was a skeleton shooting at me. I thought I might've just seen more skeleton legs, but maybe I'm making it up. All right, I'm still getting these weird little graphical glitches. Oh, there's a mine shaft. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. And I see cobwebs. I wonder if there's a uh, cave spider spawner up there. I really don't need that right now. I've got enough on my hands just figuring out the new zombies and skeletons. All right. You're a big spider. You're okay. I Yeah, this sword is going to run out if I'm not careful. Why don't I go ahead and make myself a nice little hole in the wall? Oh, look, there's even some iron here. Perfect. I'm going to box myself in. I'm going to cook up some more iron real quick. And, yeah, get another couple of swords ready because I could be in trouble otherwise. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, I've cooked myself up a fresh sword. Have some more torches, torches, torches. And so let's continue to explore with care. All right, that's right. The mine shaft was kind of just up there. Let's see if we can go in a different direction, ideally. Go ahead and plug this up. Oops. There we go. Cut off that water. And... Is there anyone down there? I don't think so. Here's some skeletons. Well, heard some skeletons. Seems like they're behind me. Crap. Alright. There is a creeper. And furthermore, there is more abandoned mine shaft. And so... They're everywhere! You just can't get away from... Wow! You shot me from very far away. Look how far away he is. I think it's now 15 blocks where it used to be 10, and I heard spiders back over in that mine shaft direction again, which I do not like. And oops, I just put a torch on some gravel and walked on the gravel, and so that's a dangerous thing to do. And there is tons of lava down here. 
And I hear spiders probably building up from some... What do you call? Ah, and my phone is ringing again. Sorry about this episode. All right, let me go get that. I'll be right back. Okay, apologies again. I am back. Right, I was trying to wander around and find somewhere that I wasn't going to fall in lava. And I also wasn't going to get poisoned by cave spiders. And I don't know that I'm having much success with that quite yet. All right, we're down at the lava level over here. Oh, it's so open and crazy over here. And these, like that weird graphical glitch where I can see all the borders of the... If anyone knows the answer to what's going on there or how to fix it, um, I am all ears. This probably... Oh, let's see if I can melee you if I get this close. Nope. You were just going to fire too fast. Wow. Skeletons. Yeah, if you don't have a bow and arrow, they're like almost undefeatable. Like, you just can't get close enough to, like, lay a shot on them. I didn't try... I can do more strafing, possibly, to see if I can avoid their arrows. Uh, but when you're that close and they're firing that fast, that's really difficult. What was I just saying? Oh, yeah, the graphical, crazy, glitchy, whatever's happening right here. Uh, this episode probably won't air for a few days, but if you know the answer, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. I don't know if it's just a bug with 1.5. I don't know if it's the fact that they... I think they upgraded the OpenGL libraries that they're using or that Minecraft like plays against now, and maybe that's related to something. I, I don't really know. Um, but it definitely seems like something is maybe different. I don't know why it's only happening. I've you know already recorded a couple of episodes, and it didn't happen for any of those, but I wasn't ever underground or in confined spaces, and so maybe it's something with the lighting and that. I don't know. It's definitely it's weird. Um... Let's try going over this way. Let's swim back up here. Like, what I really like to do is just get into some long, narrow caves that don't have tons of lava and don't have an abandoned mine shaft to get a little bit of better feel for the skeletons and the zombies. If I weren't in the mushroom biome, I'd be up on the surface. But I just, at the beginning of this episode, I was like, oh, I don't need to travel back. Uh, to the normal overworld, I can just do some caving underneath the mushroom biome. And yeah, that'll be a good way to interact with the mobs, but turns out that there's a lot going on over here. I can't even see the skeleton and he's shooting at me. I'm just shooting in the general direction. Oh, now I can see him. I was just shooting in the general direction of where I saw him at. I think I might have killed him. And then the zombies, I don't know when they call other zombies. Like, I don't know if they can do that after they're dead. I don't know kind of like how the zombie signaling mechanism works. Oh my gosh, so much to learn. This is going to be... I was thinking... Oh, ah, more mineshaft. Um, I was thinking about doing like all kinds of new speed challenges for 1.5. Maybe some of them will have already aired. I don't know. I haven't recorded any yet. Um, but I'm worried now that any new speed challenge, I'm just going to, like, die in the cave, because at the beginning of the game, when you don't have any armor, like... Oh, hello. You found me. All right, I'm going to hit you... Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to hit you three times and keep you alive, and I've got an iron sword, and three times it's likely to kill them. Uh, all right. I'm kind of running around like a chicken with its head cut off right now. I kind of want to find my way out, or somewhere else. What are the chances that I can do that? So in any case, I'll be curious to hear you all's first impressions of 1.5 as well, uh, especially with respect to mob behavior in terms of replying to this episode. Uh, in a comment, feel free to share what you think. Um, but yes, I mean, I'd heard people talk about the skeletons being more difficult, but I really did not expect them to be as difficult as they are, despite the fact that people were talking about how they're so difficult. Um... Yeah, and the zombies, that one time that I got, like, bum-rushed by all the zombies at the bottom of the ravine, that was probably just, like, five minutes ago in the video, but it was, like, two hours ago in real life after I keep having to take a break for one thing or another. Oh, distractions. I'm usually more well-organized when it comes to recording, but as I think I mentioned in a previous video, well, I'm recording this on Wednesday? Is today Wednesday? Yes, today's Wednesday, and I'm going to be going away this weekend, and so I had to finalize various plans and whatnot, and so... But yeah, I think I was I was watching Zisto had a video that he's going on vacation shortly, or maybe he's already on vacation now. Um, 
And I think someone else was on vacation too, like a big mine cracker. <laughs> I always wonder if it's an opportunity. It's like, other people are on vacation, which means people will have more time to watch my videos. Come watch Brian play in 1.5. But yeah, I also feel like this is also just whenever a new version of Minecraft comes out. Uh, for someone like me, who just likes to play vanilla, it's a chance for a whole lot of new excitement, because there's all kinds of new things that I haven't had a chance to experience. I think I'm far enough away from the lava. Alright, see, there is something... I see. If you're clicking and dragging, you don't pick up the new thing, because I guess it's trying to distribute your inventory. I was trying to switch items here. But I have to do like a single click without a drag in order to actually switch items. And if I do any kind of dragging, then I won't pick it up. And that's kind of the natural mode for you to do. I heard people complaining about the inventory, and I'd seen it, I thought, glitch on my own. But I think I understand the behavior now. And it seems to me that it would be better if there was a little bit of an extra minimum delay on the drag before it decided you were trying to spread items as opposed to just switch between two different items. I'm not sure how well I just described that in terms of wording or whatnot. All right, I guess we're going to have to try out an abandoned mine shaft at some point, so why not right now? Oh dear. This worries me. So long as we don't encounter cave spiders. Cave spiders on hard mode, like, really, they do a lot of damage. I think they do like seven and a half hearts of damage. And I don't have any protection and chance on any of my armor. I might have to... Oh, hey! All right. <laughs> ah, this makes all the caving worthwhile. It's another dungeon! And I don't think I have room in the ender chest in order to even mark this. And I'm getting crazy lag right now. Lag spikes. My frame rate is still pretty high. But it's just like I'm getting little spikes of nothing is happening in the game. And then, of course, the spider, he's up on the ceiling somewhere. Now he's down on the ground. Who can ever tell? Fix your game, Jeb. Hired glitchy mobs who appear in different locations than where they actually are. All right. I think after all of the difficult fighting we've done here in 1.5, we deserve really good loot inside this little spider dungeon. Let's see what we get. Well, that's pretty mediocre loot. As is that. Oh, well. Here's to hoping. I will collect this up. I will... Uh, go ahead and set down the ender chest and mine up the moss stone. And I'm going to have to do some rejiggering. I forgot to empty out the ender chest, and so it's full of all kinds of crap that I was bringing over here uh, with redstone and whatnot and iron blocks. And yeah, I have some organization to do. I'll be right back. All right, mined up that moss stone. 63, that works out really well. Yeah, I guess this was the... 9 by 7? No. What is it? Dungeons come in like three different sizes, and I think this might have been the large one. In any case, I need to put some string next to it to remember that that was a spider dungeon that we found. I've actually found... Oops! Here's the 64th piece. Alright, well, fortunately it's a perfect stack, and so it will just fit into the ender chest. Um, yeah, I found a bunch of dungeons uh, recently. I went on a big off-camera caving expedition right before 1.5 came out to gather up a whole bunch of resources so I could do things like we already did in previous episodes and just, you know, make a stack of comparators or... Oh, darn, another piece of moss stone. Make a stack of comparators or make a stack of... Uh, what do you call? Redstone repeaters? Yes. <laughs> I can't think of names of things. Poor Brian. And, like, you know, stacks of blocks of iron just because I wanted to be kind of, like, all prepared and have all the possible great resources I would need in order to play around with redstone. And of course now I will throw away... Cocoa beans are easily renewable. Um, yeah, but as a result I found a few more dungeons, and so when we do get back to the structure structure, I'll have to check on the time for this episode. Maybe we can return to that at the end of this episode. Um, yeah, then we can see just how many dungeons we're up to at this point. But I think I'll do... Well, if I do a little bit more exploring... Yeah, I want to do some more exploring. Oh, is that a cave spider? Hold on. <laughs> I'm all over the map. I apologize. Only a little, though. Hopefully it's entertaining. Uh, that was not a cave spider. That is a slime. Hello, crazy slime. All right, my inventory is super full, though. I'll be able to eat some potatoes and bread. So that'll wear... That'll open up a couple of inventory slots. But yeah, I'm really not... 
in the best position to try to do caving or things here. All right, slimes I don't think have changed at all in terms of how they behave, and so I'm not too worried about attacking those guys. This is going... I think I want to go back up and try to get out of here at this point since my inventory is getting so clogged. And yeah, I don't immediately see this going anywhere else. All right, I'm going to dig my way back up to the surface and check on the time for the episode. Okay, I am back home. I'm almost up to level 30 and got some smelting going on. But let's go ahead and mark off our spider dungeon over at the structure structure. And so I will need two mossy cobblestone for that. Hey, look at that. We've got a perfect 64 stack over there. I left some redstone dust on the ground over here. Oops. And, ah, still more chickens getting out. Oh, this is going to drive me insane. I'm sure I could repair this, but I might just lava bucket the whole farm and just say, goodbye, chickens. Um, all right. Let's head over to the structure structure. And we'll take a peek up at the Words with Friends board that does not have any clues hidden on it. Or if it does, someone snuck into my single-player world and put them up. <laughs> but I hope you guys are looking. Um, let's see. Yeah, at this point, with another spider dungeon, I think we've fallen behind on the skeletons again. We'll check out the counts in just a moment. Yeah, we're definitely falling behind on skeletons. And so, zing, zang, and we are up to... Do, 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 do. 23 zombies, 16 spiders, and only 11 skeletons. We need to find some more skeleton dungeons. And I think there's a little bit of time left in this video, and so I am going to skip ahead to nighttime and just try to fight some bad guys out on the plains. I really want to see if I can, like, sprint at a skeleton and just, like, rush them and manage to actually take them on melee, or if skeletons are really indestructible if you don't have a bow and arrow, or if you don't like erect a wall in front of you and get them to kind of advance on you. There's got to be some different strategies. I'm going to need to know these strategies eventually when it comes time to play some more UHC, although I'm sure it'll be a little while until bucket mods get updated and whatnot for 1.5 before I'll participate in any UHC matches, so we will see. But in any case, I'll see you guys around here again at nighttime. Die, chicken! Actually, I just emptied out the furnace, and I'm up to level 30, and so while we're here, let's just quickly enchant a book, see if we get anything awesome. Punch one. Not all that awesome. Oh well, I'm accumulating lots of books over here as well. And yeah, I still have plenty of redstone in reserve and some other stuff. All right, so that's good. All right, I'll see you guys at nighttime. All right, during the day, I attempted to erect another too high wall around these farms. And so we'll see if any more chickens or cows manage to escape now. Whoa! Look at that egg! Alright, there's an egg doing a dance. It's the egg dance! You can dance if you want to. You could be a chicken egg. Um, Alright, we're not going to worry about that right now. The sun is going down. And we are going to just kind of wander over into a dark part of the desert over here. And see if we can actually manage to... Oh, there's another chicken. Crazy chickens. They're everywhere! There's a cow who's managed to migrate all the way over to here without running into any cactuses or anything. Goodbye, cow. Yeah, let's see if we can melee a skeleton. Let's see if we get more zombie hordes coming after us. It's always a danger for me to be around here at night because I'm afraid there's going to be a zombie siege at the village. Although, as we've seen recently, I've got two iron golems over there. So hopefully they would be able to help defend against the zombies. But let's see. Assuming the world actually renders. I've got one torch up here, so this could be a nice place to try to fight some guys at night. And nice, relatively persistent chunk error that lets us see a bunch of cave systems that I've lit up over there. And so, yeah, we're definitely around a lot of places that I've lit up the underground, and so I expect to get a whole lot of mobs spawning on the surface very soon now. I will go ahead and hit F3A. I presume that hasn't changed to reload chunks. Yes. That chunk error has been repaired, and here's a spider, and there's some skeletons. Okay, spider, you should be the same, a little bit difficult, but not too difficult enemy to deal with. All right, there's a creeper over here, who I will go ahead and take out with a bow and arrow. All right, but here is a skeleton, who unfortunately has an enchanted bow. All right, I don't know what's enchanted with, but it's nothing I'm too worried about. All right, there's two skeletons. It's going to be a problem. All right, let's see... 
I guess first thing first, I want to see if I erect a wall so that he can't see me. I guess he's going to walk right up to me. And so that's one possible way that you can get within melee range of them. Oh, he still managed to get like two or three arrows into me, though. All right, so definitely erecting a wall is one possible strategy. I also want to see if I just sprint directly towards the skeleton and possibly even strafe. All right, that was good. I can get a zombie in front of me as some kind of like body cover as well. And then hope that an arrow bounces off. But oh my gosh, yeah, you can fight fast. You can try blocking a whole lot as well. Yeah, it will be next to impossible to not take damage from skeletons. Unless you see them from a long ways away and use your own bow and arrow on them. Let's find some more to fight and see if there's other skeleton strategies one can apply. All right, so here's a group of mobs. Got a couple of creepers who I can do the usual things with. Even just this. Haha, -ha. <laughs> creeper body went flying. And let's see. All right, so yeah, with the skeleton, let's see if I can build a wall and get close enough to where he sees me but doesn't fire at me yet. Or if he does, hopefully you'll miss. All right, I think he sees me. And now if I get behind the wall, He's going to walk right up, and then I can melee him, and if I am have to learn how to time it, maybe I can kind of block the arrows in between when I'm, you know, shooting with the sword kind of thing. But, yeah, wow, skeletons. This is going back to, you know, the feeling in the early days of Minecraft, when skeletons was just like, you know, like, incredibly difficult enemies, and one skeleton could, like, totally own you. I remember at the beginning of Zisto's Kaizo Caverns, I think there was, you know, one or two skeletons hiding around the corner after he had just found the monument, and he was taking a bunch of damage from skeleton after skeleton at the beginning. And yeah, it feels like kind of going back to those days of old. Um, let's see. All right, hello, creeper. Um, another creeper over here as well. I'm not sure if I can successfully fight both of you guys off. Nope. <laughs> that creeper body went flying as well. All right. Yeah, oh my gosh. If there's four... I'm curious if I run into, you know, this area with four skeletons and get them all looking at me. Just how bad it's going to be. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a creeper over here too. Crap, crap, crap. I'm, I could potentially die over here. Oh, and someone's got a fire arrow? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, then another question is... If you are trapped at night, like, can you just sprint across the plains and manage to avoid the skeletons like you used to be able to? It's another good question. And so let me just try to sprint across the desert as I regain some health and see if I can run past or through various sets of enemies without taking damage. Wow. All right, so one of these skeletons is a flame bow, so I need to be careful of that. It didn't set the tree on fire, I notice. I think it ignites TNT, but I'm not sure what other types of... Alright, there's some skeletons, and so if I run from them... Alright, yeah, at least one got a shot on me, but missed, but then he came back and found me. Yeah, so I think it'll even be more difficult... Oh my gosh! To traverse the overworld at night. Like, it used to be the case that you could just kind of run around and sprint past everybody, but now the skeletons see you from so far away that I'm still definitely getting a bit of arrow fire. Apparently a skeleton is just shooting into the wall over there, because sometimes they get stuck. Kind of like the Iron Golem, who's just, like, attacking no one. It's like a skeleton attacking no one. All right, the skeleton's in a fight with the other skeleton with the fire arrow. Oh, that's awesome! All right, that was totally worth it just to catch that on camera. Um, yeah, this is going to require a lot more practice. I think at this point we have more than enough footage for today. But 1.5, the mobs have gotten more difficult. It's going to be crazy. With caving, and yeah, once I get used to normal caving, then if we go back on the fringe of the mushroom biome and try to do some extreme caving, it will be completely insane. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. Hope you guys are having a great day, and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.